sorry, but it's part of the... There you go. Every day. An art class. Oh, she was. If she was, she would have. I'm inputting uh, uniform inspection scores. Uh, uniform inspections and scores are really um, to help the flight commanders uh, figure out what they can improve on their flight uh, cadet uniforms and how we can get them squared away to have them learn the uniform and have how to make it look good. Morning, sir. Morning. Fifth, Bravo and Charlie, fight. Left, eight. Yeah. Diagonal left. And diag then diagonal, diagonal right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Now this, the one right in front of you is that one. So that one's gone. There. That one. So you have the There's choice. One that one, that one. Behind you. So you have the yeah. We're doing a leadership and training course. So all the cadets have to work as a team to accomplish the mission. And there are a number of different missions they have to accomplish. So when they're done with one mission, they will move to a different mission. TLP is used to build teamwork between flights and also teach the cadets how to lead and communicate because most of these are some form of um, communication exercise. Um, it's very important they know how to work as a team when they're in the flight so that when they move on to a position of leadership outside the flight, they can understand how the team works and they can lead the team. It is a little bit more relaxed because it's very difficult for the cadets to work as a team if they think that their flight sergeant or their commander is going to jump on them for not standing attention or not having their arms pinned to their sides. So we bring back the intensity level a little bit so that they can relax and they can communicate amongst themselves without fear of retribution. My personal favorite is the one with the tarp because they have to work as a team to get the tarp all the way down to a one foot square and they're not allowed to step off. The whole flight has to be on the square. And it's a, it's a challenge because it's virtually impossible when you have 15 or 16 members. Aerospace is one of our three missions assigned by Congress, and we are to educate ourselves and the general public. And this is a fun way to do it about aerospace education. Um, rocketry, in doing that, it also enlightens cadets about jobs, future careers, the education they need to build something like this, and how something like this can transfer into things that you wouldn't think of. As you know now, drones are becoming more familiar. Drones can be a hobby, a fun hobby for racing. They can be delivery systems that's coming up. They can be aerial photography for news stations for disaster and things. So the field of aerospace education is very broad. We're going to go to the Johnson County Park. We've got three launchers. We're going to set them up all three together and go bang, bang, bang. So it should be fun as long as the weather cooperates for us. My first two rockets I launched uh, were very scary, especially the pop-up one where you put the acid in. I mean, not the acid, um, baking soda with the water. Okay. Yeah, so that was really scary. I was hopping around the room and everything, so uh, it's, it's very fun, though. Hurry up! Morning, sir. Obviously, teenagers today get a lot of messages about, uh, about drugs. Uh, both from peer pressure and also from the schools, you know, don't do drugs, um, that sort of thing. So I try and share some personal stories of mine um, from the both alcohol and drug standpoint uh, on people whose, whose lives have been changed dramatically because of alcohol and drugs. And uh, I think I'm one of the instructors who can give those stories to bring the point home that, uh, yes, this does happen to normal, everyday people. Alcohol and drugs affect one in 100 people. Uh, my big point is, don't be the one. Don't be the one.
So I think it's going very well. All the cadets have been learning a lot of their customs and courtesies and their drill, which has been evidenced by everything that we've seen in formation and out during drill practice and evaluation. Uh, there is still obviously a lot that needs to be done. Uh, the barracks are still being worked on and many other uh, aspects of uh, customs and courtesies, remembering greetings, uh, still need to be worked on, but that's obviously part of encampment. Drill has improved tremendously. There is still a lot of work that needs to be done on drill, but I have noticed a large uh, increase in their abilities when following all the commands in drill and staying in stuff. The next two or three days we're planning on having more outdoor activities, uh, and what I really want is to uh, perfect the drill and really, really perfect the customs and courtesies so we no longer have officers missing salutes and any staff member missing a verbal greeting.